Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulihil amin Muhammad ibn Abdullah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Iman our faith has several meanings. Al iman can be means to believe an tu'mina billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rusulihi ila akhiri. Al iman can also be meant trust al amana la imana man la amana talahu the person who cannot be trusted in fact doesn't have any faith doesn't have any iman but one of the most important meanings of iman is to have security to have safety to have a sense of being secure and safe in life and that is one of the most important purpose of iman because by believing by having faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we do believe that nothing can happen and no one can get benefit or even harm anybody without the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there is a hadith mentioned by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and this is hadith al-Qudsi Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself tells us that if jinns and humans are gathered together to get to give you benefit none of those can give you any benefit without the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the other hand if all jinns and humans are gathered together to harm you none of those can give you any harm without the permission without the leave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is the reason why the believers, the mu'minun, are always feeling, feel secure. We are not scared, we are not fearful, we are not over worried of all challenges that we are facing in life because we do believe that number one, Allah is the controller of the heavens and the earth. He's the one who controls our life. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to do something to our life, He can do it in any way He wants. That his matter, if Allah wants something for you, by simply saying, kun, and it happens. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he wanted to do migration, hijrah to Medina al-Munawwara, you can imagine how those young people surrounded his home to kill him, to cut off his neck. But Rasulullah sallallahu was firmly believing that nothing can happen to him without the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So after midnight, he opened his, his door, he went out, he threw some sense to the faces of those people and they fell into sleep. That is the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the middle of the way, there is someone who followed him, wanted to kill him. By the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his horse was falling down. In many, many cases, Rasulullah sallallahu was defended and protected by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Musa alayhi salatu wa salam was protected by Fir'aun la'anatullah alayhi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened for him the sea in order for him to run away from Fir'aun. Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam was protected in the middle of the fire. Why? Because his iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May our iman secure us and save us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.